in one time he was on, uh, on his bed, I am obedient. Let's pray together before we go to the Precious Father of the Lord. The first wife to the late Gideon Kitiva Ndambuki. They were blessed with four daughters and four sons, namely Alice Kanini Nzove, Mel Belele Wambua, late Joseph Mbuika Kitivo, Michael Musao Kitivo, Christine Deten David, late Sala Zilani Ndunda, late Kisilo Kitivo, and Peter Motuko Kitivo. She was mother-in-law to Elizabeth Modiko Motuko, Nzove, Samuel Mwano, Ndunda Mulwa, and David Kivulu. She was grandmother to the eight grandchildren. Among them, Wilson Mututu Nzove, Sala Mbole, Minister of Agriculture. John Kelly Wambua, Minister of Iberia. Gideon Chalo Wambua, USA. Alex Diwa Musao, Business. Juliet Mudeu Kitivo, Faith Dan Kitivo, Ellen David, Kiy Ellen David, Kiyoko David, Maria Kadeu David, Lita David, Faith Mumo Mutuku, Gate Roots Hospital, Kevin Mutuku, Chama Mutuku, Lita Ndunga Ndunda, formerly of NSSF and Kalenti. Yeah, uh, uh, I am Reverend Do Dr. Julius Mandi. I'm the senior pastor at Deliverance Church in the nation of Mbwani. The departed lady who has been right at Machakos Mochari has been there for 17 good years. She was a member of my church and when she passed on on the material date I can't recall but those 17 years down the line I had a local church meeting I had to cancel that meeting and I come and stand with this family of Kitivo I picked the mother the mama the whole matriarch as stands up Kitivo all the way to Machakos Mochari and all this period has been a period of trailing period of trailing and many other answers but today we thank God this is a new dawn because we have taken her to our earthly house waiting for the rapture when we shall all meet up in the skies. We thank God for all the participants, people who have given out their monies to make sure this exercise has become complete. Thank you and may God bless you even men and the lady of the media. We appreciate it. She was so good a lady, disciplined, a lady of high caliber. Lady who could, uh, you know, help the, uh, the youth, the young ladies in the church. So in a nutshell, vis-a-vis, -vis, she was excellent mama. So I am happy she rested with the Lord. What do you do? I'm Michael Musao Kitivo. And uh, today is when we are burying uh, our beloved mother who has been in mortuary for 17 years. And I thank all those who have assisted us uh, at least to bring her home. And uh, I think most of us now, most of our siblings, we now feel a bit relieved. We feel relieved. And uh, I thank all who have really assisted us. That's all. Mama was uh, quite disciplined. She was very hard working. She was a peasant farmer. And at, at the same time, she used to do business. She would travel long distances, trading in many kinds of wares. Uh, and in particular, uh, she used to sell, uh, to sell beans, maize to the villagers and uh, people, and most, some other people from even far who could, who could not get food uh, at their villages. So she used to come, they knew. In our store, there is always some food for sale. Oh, 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 oh. She ensured that if it is time for school, whoever was supposed to go to school, he or she went to school. And so, 
So through that, some of us is how we got education without dropping in school because of our discipline and the insistence that we must, we must learn, we must learn. Can you paint a picture for us? How does? Well, it, we cried, we cried, we mourned, we mourned, and uh, tears, tears were wow, even dried because of time and all that. Mm. But now we feel quite relieved. Okay. And we hope everything will be will be good. My message is that let's let's unite let us unite for the good of the family. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm um, John Kelu Ambua, one of the grandsons of the late matriarch of the Kitivo family, Esther Zakwa Kitivo. Um, this is the end of a long and tormenting period. We've had time, sleepless nights, but today we are happy that this has come to an end and a peaceful end. We are happy for those who have assisted us in this particular issue. Whatever contributions they did, we value them and treasure them. We call for unity within the Kitivo family. All my uncles, we pray that they come together, they start a new chapter in their lives, so that we do not have such a thing happening again, such that they live in harmony, so that the future can be bright. That is just the only thing they can bequeath us as the grandchildren, and at the same time, what they can give to their dear and departed mother. I'm John Manzandonda, a grand child whom our grandma used to call Kitivo, as his husband. One day I can remember uh, sneaking, from, sneaking from home, coming to spend a night with my grandmother. And um, unfortunately, at the midnight, my father came in his own vehicle to pick me. This one reminds me how loving our grandma was. Secondly, uh, if there is the first time I took f a full cup of tea, it's at Mama's. Our mom used to give us a halfway. But this moment, uh, the, I landed at my grandmother's house. I was happy because she fed me with a full cup of tea. Secondly, she used to serve us with njai. Uh, that is uh, nzabe. And uh, we used to enjoy. We used to come with our bulls to plow. And uh, in the evening, she used to give us nine cents to go and buy some sweets. So I remember mother, uh, Alvin, grandmother, having taken care of our mother. She used to carry firewood after, our, after the death of our mother, that is 1983. She used to uh, mobilize women from this area to bring firewood, to bring water. And um, I can remember our last born who is in USA, that is Bula, she breastfed from our grandmother. That's the reason why we were missing our grandmother for, for, for the last 17 years. I witnessed the day our mom died. She died, uh, our grandmother died. She died uh, at uh, 4 p.m. and I saw her um, being ferried to mortuary. So um, my message is um, we seek cooperation. We seek respect. If you are the first wife, respect your husband. If you are the second wife, respect the second wife. If you are the last wife, respect the second and the first wife. And uh, may God bless and may mom, grandmother rest in peace. You are my wife, Kibeti Chawa.